temporada. How you guys doing? What's up, guy? Today we're going to check out the last couple conferences that I'm interested in from the uh, Tokyo Game Show. So today we've got Konami, I think Sega, I thought Sega did something. He's like, there's the Koei Tecmo thing, but I don't see a Sega presentation. So maybe... Tokyo Game Show. Okay, here we go. There is one, it just wasn't on, um... Hey, Kyler, is this a VOD? I think it's a VOD, for the most part. Yeah, this was like nine hours ago, oops. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's going on with, um, the Sega one. I assume there's not too much. I assume the Sega one's gonna mostly be about the Yakuza games that got announced. The Konami one, I have no idea what Konami would announce. Uh, since it's in Tokyo, um, probably some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. That's really all I can think of. Let's collect a phone. All right, let's go ahead and just jump into the actual happenings. Why does YouTube default to like such low quality? Like, yes, I want to watch videos in 480p on my desktop. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Tokyo Game Show 2022 Business. Konami actually appropriately audio balancing their stream, unlike me. So we have a great excitement in SNS, and how are you enjoying it? This is today's MC Icho Mori. I like that his hat matches his tie. That's very nice. I am Nashiko Momoski. Nice to see you. And then I'm Oishi from Public Relations of Konami. Nice to see you. Oh, the PR guy. He's gonna like tell these other two to stop talking when something becomes too serious. What's up, gamer? This afternoon today, the general public would enter this. Venue. So this is the first time in three years or two years. So this is the third year. Closed captions unavailable. What? Mm, so do you have any specific memories of Tokyo Game Show? So even before getting into this industry, I was a costume How much game player. Stuff have to talk so about? I joined this game show, or some of my friends are. In or is it mostly talk show stuff? And they joined the Tokyo Game Show. So. Uh, actually, I really enjoy costume playing and also the game show uh, since I was young. Okay, For the opening, I have come to. There's Yu Gi Oh stuff. It might just be their booth, so though. Please see that. How spacious it Do people put, still play Bomberman games? And I'm so excited to see you here. And also, there are lots of titles in the booth. So Yu Gi Oh Rush Duel. Cool. Isn't that that Switch game? No, no one like played that one because they released that like at the same time as Master Duel for some reason. First, on the right side of the booth, this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! area. The uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, corner. We have four Yu-Gi-Oh! related titles in each corner. Why is this like so shaky? Play the game. I play Master Duel. I never really got into Duel Links. Uh, the Rush, Rush Duel. Corner, you can get Rush Duel Secret Ace Pack Volume. Oh, they're giving away cards at the event. That's cute. Now this is the Yu-Gi-Oh Cross Jewel Corner. On the other day is uh, the distribution, and then these like uh, graphics look so cheap. Jewel is a little different from the card game. So actually, four players can join the match. So this is a new sense of gaming, digital card gaming. On the right side, <laughs> Konami has Yu-Gi-Oh booth babes. The match, and also you have to look at <laughs> That's the funny. situation of the. Uh, battle and also you can enjoy the wheeling and the dealing and all the monsters are appearing in 3d that's cool so they haven't done all monsters appear in 3d in a long time the 
so there's probably not that many generations of cards in this game. So you can see the familiar characters in this game as well. I like that whenever they make games and stuff too, they only use like the first three generations, like Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, but then they just hard cut there. Is Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, which is already being distributed, and the Global Duelist members will join this. So you can enjoy this game anywhere and anytime. That's the purpose of this game. And this is a really over-the-top setup for a master duel. Enjoy the a very addicting game, but who would ever play it like this? Definition graphics, so that's a very powerful picture. And then please see this game chair. Your, your master duel can be experienced here. Hey, what's up, Quickman? You were excited the for the rhythm games? They're probably not announcing any of that. So if yeah, you're interested in there, or if you have not experienced it yet, please try it. And the third one, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. In this area... Duel Links must make a lot of money for them to have supported it for this long, and not dropping it when Master Duel came out. So in this venue, you can see the large monitors, and the decks are designed to be in line with the image, image of the duelist. Very cool. Konami full dedicated to mobile games now. And the last one, which will be... I mean, at least they released Master Duel on PC. Because it doesn't look like Cross still is coming to PC either. But Royal uh, Go Rush, which will be played by Nintendo Switch. So, an animation... Uh, I played, yeah, I played this for like a little bit on Switch, uh, but I didn't really play, touch it too much, because it's digital only, and it's just... I don't know, it's just a dumbed-down version of Yu-Gi-Oh! It's like the Duel Links mobile game, but... Um, it's just, I don't know, not as complex or as fun. You can get the vehicle, the token, How huge mobile gaming is in Japan? Mobile gaming is huge in Japan and China, basically all of Asia. Like mobile gaming is huge. So in these Yu-Gi-Oh areas, if you experience any of them, you can get the cards, which are the limited version for this side. So let's play it. That's all from for the very cool, very area, cool. from the booth. So now I wonder what cards are included in that pack. Someone must have already. Before the secret pack, there are five types. So Nashiko san, could you please draw one? Can I? Yes. Let's mm. from the middle. So so all of the, these five could be the same, but no Can't find knows them. which one is which. So you don't know. Oh, Purpose? never mind, found them. Uh, you can guess, but just for review, this one, I got this. I don't know what the fuck that is. Again. It's very shiny, I cannot read the name of the card. So I saw that they have a blue eyes one though, that's very cool. So, it, uh, so you can get this one. Supreme Machine okay. Magnum Overlord. And also, lots of information is here. Yes. Oh wait, no. These are the these come with the here. game. Tomorrow, September seventeenth, Saturday, we're gonna to have the Yugi Oh Cross Jewel teach you a special. Oh, whatever. Duo. It's not like I'm gonna ever get them. Joined by Enako san, Mr. Sachihoko san, Morimoto Saiga san, and Tsubaki san. I feel like I've made so much Yu Gi Oh content over the so years. Nashiko san, you are very um, looking forward to seeing that, right? I feel like yes. I should be at this All of conference. them are very <laughs> strong, so it's very difficult to make a guess. I've made so, so much content. I think I've played through every years. single Yu-Gi-Oh game but the Tag Tool time. games on my channel. So, is she your junior colleague? It seems very unapproachable. Uh, it's. I think Yu-Gi-Oh is still pretty approachable. I think Master Rule like 4 or 5 when Link's deck started was very unapproachable. But now that they've kind of abandoned like the Link concept, it's uh, it's not that hard it. to get back into. Links and were a little complicated, but now that Link is pretty much dead, winner, it's not bad. Get the paper one autographed by Enako san so this is the SN. Hey, what's up, Dallas? So please Thanks for stopping by, dude. The Yu -Gi -Oh Cross Jewel official Play jump stopping? What is that? And also, 
we have a newly created I would like to be able to play Yu-Gi-Oh in like an actual place, but I feel like Magic the Gathering is the only place that has like IRL uh, tournaments. I'd also be pretty sure I would fuck up some effects with cards in a local uh, tournament, and I feel like there are people that go to these like local tournaments would be very upset that I was wrong about the rules of a card. A lot of the time I need the uh, the computer game to still tell me the rules because I don't have every rule mem memorized for thousands of cards. I have a lot of them memorized. And I'm also too socially awkward to ever call in someone out like if they like played a card wrong and I like knew that's not what the effect was, I would probably just be like, okay, whatever, and keep rolling. The concept behind this cross duel thing I think is actually really cool because I miss tag duels from the Xbox 360 version of uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh game. I actually started my channel off doing a lot of like cross duel or not cross duel tag duels with subscribers. So like I'd either play against two subscribers and with a subscriber on my team, or I uh, play. I would just go on like. Uh, duels with someone on my channel and I have a bunch of videos like that too. I used to like really like doing those. So at least cross duel would still be multiplayer, although it's not tag duel, which I think is much cooler. Cross emotion. Wow. Cross. Everyone. It's not going to be this big. This app is not going to be this big. I'll still check it out, though. Could be fun. Are they actually about to show how it works? Yeah, it definitely looks like they're limiting the amount of, uh, like, generations of Yu-Gi-Oh that are in this game. Because nobody runs Mirror Force anymore, first of all. People haven't used that card for several generations now. Yu-Gi-Oh! These, the, like, game apps for uh, Konami, always, they look really cool, like I'd want them on the front page of my phone, but then they always ruin it with the big Konami logo on the app. Dallas, do you go to, like, local tournaments and stuff? Seems more casual. Yeah, that's the whole, um, thing. Um, for like the, they're called rush duels now. It's a simple format. Uh, there's like a whole new card set for um, Yu-Gi-Oh that's just called the rush format. That is the three monster card zones, three trap zones instead of the normal five. And it's based off this Duel Links game. We have we have a top show of the cash teams for the brains and a new world was added. That was announcement for September 28th. And then we're gonna to have the campaign from 28th and also the This campaign. is what I'm talking about when people are like hating on the new Fire Emblem character. Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Tags and also having multicolor hair since forever, baby. So please take a look. Should I get back into Duel Links? I feel like I really don't want to. I already play Master Duel a lot. How many hours of Master Duel am I at? Should I reveal this? Is this... See, I've only played 445 hours of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, so I mean, it's really... It's an under control... addiction. It's... I... totally under control.
So I definitely don't need to also play Duel Links. I never watched Brains. Looked cool. But I haven't really watched... I've watched just really Duel Monsters, like the first series or generation or season. And that's kind of it. I've played all the games of every, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! generation. Um... I don't know what he's saying. No subtitles, GG. Subwatchers be like, oh, I get it. He's saying, let's duel. See, I always like those sidekick AI characters too. I should, I should watch Brains. I feel like I would dig it. Links are coming to uh, Duel Links. It feels like this has been a long time coming too. Like, Brains to me always came off as, like, Zexel, but good. It's always so funny that the animations are, like, so separate from what, uh, like, the actual gameplay is like. And I know Konami will never do it because these games make so much money for so little investment. But it would be really cool if they made, like, the Pokemon game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where it was, like, you actually played as, like, the monsters and shit. And it had nothing to do with duelists or cards and stuff. But it was just, like, a Yu-Gi-Oh! world game. They'll never do that, though. Also, they still have the Pharaoh on there for marketability. <laughs> Even though he has nothing to do with brains. So it's still going, and then on December 1st, we, we're going to actually have the Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel Strongest Battle Ro Royal Go Rush, which will be launched on December 1st by, for Nintendo Switch. So I'm going to show you this Why is that, like, so flashy? It looks like it's a projector image. What is that? I really liked this monster back in the day. That's cool that they're bringing it back for this format. This is another reason why I stopped playing Rush Duel. All of the characters are actual children, which is weird. Every other Yu-Gi-Oh! protagonist had been, like, um... Adults. Or like, adults. Anime adults. I hope this isn't a new game and it's just an update to the current Switch one. Because I literally played this game once after I bought it. Blue Eyes is so bad. That's what they're giving you for free. Blue Eyes and the whole archetype is very bad. Yes, I have just explained this one. This is in addition to the free-to-play standard edition. Uh, we're going to have the special edition, including uh, each type, starting from the... Oh, bro, it is a physical different plan. game. But and I kind of want to buy it because I like it. The three and I want these cards. <laughs> the limited promotion card will be included in a special edition of I like that they've kept this tradition up for like over the years. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! always comes with, if you buy a physical Yu-Gi-Oh! game, you always get a pack of cards. Like that are exclusive to the game. They're worth like nothing. 
but every Yu-Gi-Oh game has always come with like three or four cards if you buy the physical edition since like the 90s. So what's the probability? Yes. So it's nice that they're and still doing that. I'm sure it like costs them nothing, but it's nice that it's uh the new they still do it. Rush Jewel over Rush Pack will be, go on sale. So this is an illustration. The illustration is go beyond. That's kind of so unique looking, but it looks like I don't know. Rush Lair. So weird. It doesn't look like any normal Yu-Gi-Oh card. So I'm gonna to show you this video. Wow, does that look cool though? She's like, so, okay, our, who cares? <laughs> this is a rare for us to see such uh, case. So I'm sure no sound, no voice, but cars were shining. Yes, we are so excited. Great impression. Yeah, I don't know if I like the aesthetic of the Rush Duel cards, because they're just like all yes. crystallized. And today, I'm going to release a new information as a special offer for early reservation. Are you gonna you, you you can get the I wonder if this will even release in the states actually. Over Rush Rare or you your Rush model. Remember when Konami so, completely abandoned the Red Eyes Arc Time too? They didn't even keep that around so, for long. So of course you can get this special offer. Momotsuki san so I have shown lots of information here. What do you think about that? That's great. And that shiny card with very yes, the cards shiny. are indeed so very shiny. I want to have all of these three shining cards. So what what about draw? It depends. It depends. But they're like too shiny, and since all of the cards are shiny, it ruins the aesthetic. So sometimes we can get a good one. However, if you spend more, you can get. Or when Konami made good game. Hey, Master Duel is a good game. <laughs> I like Master Duel. So the next one is Wait, am I actually still missing achievements in this game? I'll choose get a lot of information. Please enjoy. Deal damage with card effects. Who the fuck deals damage with card effects? Next Super Bomberman R2. The Bomberman corner. Ooh. So in this area, you can Enjoy. Oh, this isn't even a this isn't a mobile game. Bomberman is a real game on the Switch. Is this every Bomberman game? I feel like any time I've ever seen Bomberman, it's just this. It's like a square by square grid. Is that all there is to it? I don't know why I thought it was like a side scroller game. If you play the game, and you will get get this eco friendly bag. But the number is limited, so please visit early. In this, area, so you get the so the order in which you do the uh, this conference so far, you go to the Bomberman booth first, you get the bag, then you go to the Yu-Gi-Oh booth and get the cards, and then you can put the cards in the bag so they don't get bent. Thank you. It was about Super Bomberman R2, and we have the video to show you, so please enjoy. These translators are so, like, non-enthusiastic about what's going on. They're actually, like, who gives a shit? Was that all Bomberman stuff? The weird alien thing? So it looks like there's a lot of maps. I don't want to play a Bomberman game now. Bomberman 
That's the perfect type of image for a thumbnail. So it was very cute. It was indeed very cute. Former man, as the game that plays among four people. So I didn't know know about the castle mode. What is it? The castle mode is the the new mode for Super Bomberman R2. Asymmetrical, and you play offense or defense, and you get the territory. So this is the new type of Bomberman. And the comedians are going to play the game. Yes, tomorrow at the venue. From Shirtless man. <laughs> PM on Thank Saturday, you. The comedians are going to play the game. Yes, Tonikaku Akarui Yasumura san, I want him to uh, get relieved. Okay, and now we are going to introduce anime, famous game, and a corner where you can uh, talk to the girls' band. There's more to come for Konami Booth. Next. I don't know what that is. Am I supposed to recognize that? Shine Post. Anime. Be your something. Post. There's a mobile game called Shine Post. Be your idol. Be your idol. Okay. You can choose your favorite characters, and you can take a picture. Is this a rhythm idols, game? What is this? You can enjoy the costume, novel, music, live music. Dance, hey, what's up, man? Konami's dropped the bottom of the food chain. Of <laughs> hey, they just showed cool Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. So that is the uh, the game that is. This looks pretty lame, though. And only at the venue you can watch the video. So what is that? It's like an idol thing? What kind of pictures you can Be your... Idol. Is it just like an AR thing where you take pictures with like anime girls? Like... I don't get what this is supposed to be. Is it like an anime? Is it like from a manga? Or are they just... Are you just taking pictures? Base, not gonna lie. Hello, official Twitter account of Shine Post. If you, you say so. Participate in a picture taken event and you will get original rubber band. Near the booth. Yeah, see again, this is why you go to the Bomberman thing band. first. So we'll you go to the Bomberman booth, you get your bag. Then you go to those two booths, you put your fan in the bag. Next to the shine post, we have the corner for Genso Suikoden. I have Today, never heard of this. Genso Suikoden. Information was out. The Genso Suikoden that was out with what? PlayStation in 1995. That would be why I was born that year. Now, the Genso Suikoden wanted to... See, I don't know how they think this JRPG is going to stack up nowadays if there's no farming in it. How are they going to keep up? Xbox One, and Steam, and Nintendo Switch. With these, you can play it, and the game is going to be released in 2023. In this corner, uh, you can play the dice game. You know, wow! If you have played the Genso Suikoden, right? Very cool so, dice game. Uh, based on... The result of the dice game, you will get Genso Suikoden 1 and 2 HD Remaster Trading Cam Badge. Uh, you can uh, play the dice game with the characters, and, you, and based on the result of the dice game, uh, you will get a uh, many cam badge. Oh, um, so you, whatever you roll, you get the character who corresponds to the number that you rolled? And, please, uh, come and then what, you've got to like main that character? Your memory. On Twitter, next to Genso Suikoden, we have a corner for him. They didn't even show gameplay of that game. What the fuck is it? That commemorates the uh, what? Anniversary. So there are panels of seven Genso Suikoden. You can take a picture. So please come and take a picture. And also, we'll take a picture with more idol girls. Badge is has come back, where it was. It was distributed in city of Kurayoshi. Um, please yeah, I don't know. What the, I guess it's it's just another 2.5D JRPG game. I don't know. It, so uh, please don't miss it. So I introduced three titles from Konami. 
And then this one, this portrait must be their badge. Shine post against Osikoden and Inabita. Well, the taking pictures for Shine post, I loved it. So taking pictures with a character, you know, it's usually nothing. Is this game influential post, enough to get like an HD remaster? Are surrounding you, and they strike a pose, and there's a group picture. And this is what you experience when you see Idol. You never imagine you can do that with the 2D characters. And I got really excited. I'm just... And why is it so hard to figure out what this game is? Yes. Well, they released it on the PSP, so it's not like it's been that long since it's been out. And also 3 p.m. on Sunday. Okay, let's check out the wiki article. I don't care about these idols. And the Reception and the new characters and special guests. Uh, okay, it had lackluster responses. It looks like it got like a seven on every game site. And Genso Seikoden one and two HD remaster. Oh, never mind. Please talk about it. Retroactively, it hit. It's gotten critical praise. The best RPG outside of Square Enix. Okay. If you say so. Where's the farming, though? That's the real question. This looks like straight off of that RPG Maker website. Like someone just made this game in an afternoon. It just doesn't look super interesting, like, at all. I mean, I'm sure there's nostalgia for some people that, like, like this game. How did they do physical damage to the ghost monster? And the crowd goes mid. Actually, I made a request and we have another video. So this is a video from the beginning of the game. This is very special. Please watch. Oh, it's very special, guys. Very special. <laughs> There's like seven loading screens in the first <laughs> area instead of it just being one big pixel area. Okay. Can we. What happens if we watch this at like 1.5 speed? Does it get interesting? Tell you right now, the uh, the chat for this stream, like on the Konami channel, is uh, or on the Gamespot channel, is very nonplussed about this. So it doesn't seem like it's getting received uh, very well. The 
music kind of slaps fast. Yeah, it does seem a bit better. But this definitely feels like the kind of game that you would play in, like, turbo mode on a Game Boy Advance emulator. So, again, Soul Sequel 1 and 2 HD Remaster. So, it is already talked about a lot with the social media and many people waiting for it. How did you feel? Are there surprised. many people waiting for that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Here's the exciting thing we're going to show you that gets you invested and interested in the game. Uh, the character walks across a bridge, he enters a house and meets up with a character and then goes to bed. There are many people who played Okay. As a first game, you know, it is Thanks. about visiting your memory, right? But, uh, 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 so, Daikan san said, uh, you know, he said that he's doing something new. And I was, so maybe he was talking about the sixth one. So, what is the perspective of Konami? You have a, a, a bad uh, impression. Okay, anyway, we have more to come. Oh, did you have a bad impression of the game? Anyway, let's move on then. Okay, so please take a look at the video clip for Eat Football. Okay, so this area is next to Yu Gi Oh! area. Eat Football area. Wait, what was this area? Oh, was this like the idol thing? I could think we just skipped over that. At the Eat Football uh, area, we have the battle with Weir's members. So this is a special. Is this just area. like knockoff FIFA? Like, what is this? That just doesn't look as good. Formerly known as Pro Evolution Soccer. It's a series of football video games developed by Konami. I feel like Konami is the only company that still uses so booth waves. I remember EA cut booth waves out a long That's time ago due to the, um, of this, uh, reception the of them at so this type of event. Much with winners. It's a great opportunity for us. By the way, Oish-san, I believe you have additional information. Yes. Oh I'm my god, Matt. PES 2014 was actually one of the last games released on PS2. Nice. Looks like it mostly exists today as a mobile game, because that's all Konami makes now. <laughs> is soccer even that big in Japan? I know soccer is very big in Europe, but I thought baseball was the popular sport in Japan. Like, even the announcer that they have in games, British. Oh, it gives you the full, like, life sim. Like, you also do press conferences with your football team instead of just playing the game. Are the teams in this game even from Europe, too? Was that Manchester United? They're not even Japanese teams? Looks like not as many people as interested in the uh, Konami and Sega uh, parts of the Tokyo Game Show. Or to, yeah, Tokyo Game Show as yesterday. Who was yesterday again? Capcom. Capcom and who else? Guess we also watched the RGG Summit too. That's true, yes. Thought people would still want to chat about it, though. Or 
and make fun of all the Konami mobile games. Oi san, on Sunday, are you gonna take have a special stage of eFootball? You're never alone, Kyler. So That's why I stream. So I'm not alone. In, uh, in the future, so oh, we have all oh, the very popular winners tour. So please take a look, and then. Man, they kind of popped off right away with the Yu-Gi-Oh thing, and then it's just kind of been like missed since. The high school uh, student singer Tano Miniminfo. Uh, I didn't know Konami did so much idol so stuff. There'll be an exhibition match between. I guess idols are very big in Japan, though. Are these like VTubers? Like, there's the real loser guy here, and then a bunch of like anime characters. I can't read any of this, so I don't know. So please come and get the tickets, and please do wear unwoven masks, and please refrain from speaking when you are watching the match. Thank you. And there was a Please refrain from speaking while watching the match. That's crazy. Yes. New initiative of Momotaro Dentetsu, the browser Momotaro Dentetsu, the education edi ed edition, Japan is interesting country. It is said Momotetsu is a <laughs> Japan is an interesting country. Thank you. Social studies and history. And this is the new uh, the game that you can play with a web browser and tablet, and you can use that in a school study. Now, oh, they switched from the English name, I don't know how to look this up now. I was about to Google it. Use the game, so you enjoy and you study. And there'll be a it's like golf, you can't talk. I've seen people be like fucking crazy at soccer games. You will see the basic information. And in order to avoid troubles among kids, you can attack someone, targeting. Um, somebody and first in a series there is no god of poverty so that the, the money you have do not fluctuate too much so you don't have to worry and uh, it does not cause troubles among children and there will be a testing uh, among the uh, uh, the schools and it will be released and we have a message from uh, or is this like an educational yes. app for so, kids? Uh, like it teaches you stuff about Japan or whatever? To make a Momotetsu uh, school education material. So this is the, the dream. Is this something you showcase at the uh, game uh, show? In the geography test. And let's I feel like the people interested in this would not want to see this at the okay, game show. Right. So uh, we have the, uh, uh, the website and uh, uh, you can get the inquiry. And it will be introduced free of charge for the school. So please look at the teaser site. I mean, good for Konami for, uh, I guess, giving these that app to schools for free. OMG, real games. I was always so bad at these, like, bullet hell games. There's just too much going on. Did you miss much? You have absolutely not missed anything. Konami shows has shown like a bunch of mobile games so far. And uh Yu-Gi-Oh games. That's it. This is also, I'm guessing, a mobile game. Oh, no, it's a console game. PS5 exclusive console game. Well, PS5 next gen, I guess. Exclusive. So PS5 and Xbox Series S or X or whatever the fuck Xbox is calling their console now. With a Scottish products studio Killword, and which will be on sale in 2023, and also you can. You'll have to wait till next year, though. Don't play any indie flash games that are exactly like that until then, though. So, uh, so don't miss it, and then I like to talk about eSports in the school. Any faith in Sega? No. I feel like this is gonna be pretty boring announcements, but it'll be fun to make fun of them. Sega might show some Sonic stuff. But Konami has brought nothing to the table. If I were to guess how the Sega conference starts, the Sega conference is going to be another trailer for the Persona ports. Um, recapping the RGG Summit, of talking about so the uh, Like a Dragon so stuff, and then Sonic at the end, students will, will be my guess. Learn about e and the school is operated by Genie Company Konami, and the students can learn about eSports. And also That's kind of cool, actually, that they'll do, like, eSports e classes in schools now. 
teachers from there and those professional teachers instead of PE you can go to your esports class that wouldn't fly in America because we're lecturers from we have health issues concerning our uh, dietary habits but Japan doesn't seem to have as many of those struggles from take wing for Fortnite and also we we're going to use the correspondence school curriculum from the Dai Ji high school also because gaming is like a much less viable career in the US over the year you can join the trial there's not really as many like uh, esports team and last year two school two like sponsored two, two, teams in the US like there is in like Japan and so Korea you can, you can see the gaming and esports and events and a good facility and you can learn about esports more so please we're sort of racing all night website. dude I would buy that and then you know, I'm going to show you another video who are the interviews of the shooting Hey, he had like a steam. Oh, he went to Michigan State. <laughs> That's my college. <laughs> Michigan State actually has uh, the largest uh, foreign exchange student program in the U.S. for colleges. So on campus, there are a lot of people from China and Japan at my school. So, I can do what is related with game, and more than that, I'm enjoying this. So, looking at the students, they seem really enjoying this. So, uh, please think about that. And by the way, you have additional information. Yes, in October, we're going to have the open campus. So, if you are interested in there... Fortnite classes! And also, uh, Let's go! Campus, uh, if you say I saw this program, you can get the original clear file. So please join this open campus. Uh, P5 skating. So, uh, we, uh, Have they announced the last announcement for Persona's 30th anniversary? I don't know. I needed more time. I haven't been paying attention to most of the anniversary stuff because most of the anniversary stuff has just seemed to be like merchandising. You will get to enjoy that in Tokyo. I don't really care. So please do visit Tokyo Game Show and enjoy Konami Boots. And not even like cool merchandise too. It's been all like pins and cups and stuff. Like if they were figures of the characters or whatever, I would buy those. We couldn't get together, so it is very special, right? Or even like cool shirts. You're still live. I just went live like thirty minutes ago. Merchandise that's Japan only. No, you can get it imported to U.S. It's just more expensive. You cannot get to hear the stories from them, and we have to worry about typhoon. But uh, please be prepared, and uh, please um, come and join the the booth. That's so crazy that that's and just something that they're uh, like expecting in Japan is like so typhoons and autumn, tsunamis. Uh, winter and and spring, you will get more information, new information. So uh, now, like, yeah, well, it's come and visit the yearly flooding. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for joining. Alright, so Konami definitely had, um, the worst, uh, conference. I think. Like, the worst. Japan has a lot of earthquakes. Japan just has a lot of bad weather, which is crazy because Hawaii, which seems to be like a similar style i mean i know it's obviously on another half of the world but like hawaii is still like these little islands and hawaii doesn't seem to have as many of those like issues like you never hear about like hawaii just being like yeah so the tsunami took out hawaii there's a massive earthquake in hawaii i mean i guess hawaii is just not as like big in terms of like news or whatever but you never hear that kind of stuff god do i even want to watch this koei tecmo thing I feel like not really. Like I, they don't really ever have any games that I'm like, oh my god, cool. Let's watch a little bit of it. I'm actually like ready to skip this Koei Tecmo one. Second program for 25th anniversary of the TV series TGS Special. Watching two times speed, yeah. Oh, never mind. They're showing cute girl and cosplay. Let's go. Next guest. Very compelling. Uh, I am in charge of character design of the secret series, Toridamono. Thank you. And the other guest. Hello, everyone. I'm Moe Iori, the cosplayer. Thank you for coming. So she is official cosplayer of Atelier Riza. So she is wearing a costume of Riza. It is great. It's so cute. 
Thank you. And I have a staff with me. So the quality is a 10 billion score, so it's perfect. How do you like it? I thought that was her. I thought they uh like they were showing her like in cosplay earlier. And then now they're all just talking about how cute she is, which is kinda awkward. It's awkward when professional booth people do it for a company. It's not as awkward when a streamer that nobody pays attention to does it. <laughs> to look for the key and about the roots of alchemy because they're supposed to be professionals i am not is open field no one is paying me to do this seamless map and you can enjoy the adventure of rise up oh i think they showed this during the nintendo direct didn't they actually this game this game another this is the farming yeah they did show this during the direct Yeah, never mind, we don't really have to watch this then if this was already announced in the direct. It's just a more in-depth trailer for another farming simulator JRPG, which I don't care about. Oh, the Keyblades! I didn't realize this was a Kingdom Hearts spin-off. This game looks decent, you are having a laugh. Kingdom Hearts franchise. You are making the same pose. Yes, it was actually hard to uh, make a move like this and strike a pose like this. It was very hard, but it turned out. That's kind of cool. They're, I think, spending a little bit too much time on this girl's cosplay. <laughs> yes, she is very cute, but. Come on. Now it's weird. So please look at this. So there's a, a big part here, which is very cute, just like you see in the game. So, and the staff here. Okay. Yes, the, the staff is so... Um. <laughs> the comment said they want to... Alright, <laughs> give me out. That's, that's my fault. Why? It was very... Now you are just one of the fans. No, she meant... I, I I don't know if she's like a fan of the series that was like cosplaying before the game announcement and she's just not like a bought and paid model that they like made the costume for like that's pretty cool but them spending this much time on like a costume that like maybe the company itself designed is definitely not as cool if she's just like a huge fan because this is the third game or whatever and if she's been a fan of the series since day one and she made the costume and she's super excited and the company is recognizing a big fan that's cool but they just hired a model and were like, okay, here's a costume, wear this. And now they're like fangirling over it? That's kind of weird. I don't know. We also have some gifts and... I guess I get why they're doubling down. This seems to be the only interesting character in the game. Please look forward to it. In addition to that, we also have a saved data link a gift. Also, we have a data link a <laughs> Yeah, clearly, because she's the only one that gets the third round of DLC. Like, everybody's in the first two, but by three, they're just like, yeah, okay. And we also have a limited double pack available for... Ateria Riza and Ateria Riza 2. Oh, they're porting the uh, the first and second ones as well. We also carrying a sale to commemorate the launch of Ataya Riza 3. Please check the information. Okay, for VX Riza, I already played it at TGS. It was really fun. Yes, the game was really fun. Is this the Fatal Frame thing? Oh yeah, it is. Hang on. We'll watch this in normal speed. I like Fatal Frame. I know nobody else does, but Fatal Frame is cool. Still been meaning to play the Fatal Frame game I bought. This, I really wanted to play this game actually on the Wii U, 
because um, I should maybe go back and buy the Wii U version because we, in the, the camera here in the game, you would move the Wii U tablet around to be the camera, and I think that was like the one and only innovative use of the Wii U fucking tablet thing. But it could be cool on the Switch version as well, where you'd have to move the Switch as a camera, like in handheld mode. Is that it? Did they show 30 minutes of that, like, JRPG and actually just two minutes of Fatal Frame? Like, they paid to play the trailer and that was it? What? That's so disappointing. So this is the Ronin Team Ninja game, right? Probably better than Konami. Well, the difference is I'm actually going to buy all the Yu-Gi-Oh games from Konami. I'm probably not going to buy any of these. Was there anything cool announced other than was like from the game show that I'm like not aware of? Like, so I was going to watch the Koei Tecmo, the Sega, and the Konami conferences. Tokyo Game Show 2022. This is was there anything else from today that would be cool to watch? I am Shohei Taguchi, the MC for the not really. program as well. Second part is all about Warlong Forum Dynasty. Oh. This has been the best TGS in years. Of the game, oh my god. Good evening. I am... I can't tell if he's being ironic or what. <laughs> he still has the fan okay. thing. Is Sega gone live? The Sega thing has already happened. Uh, we're gonna watch it after this. I don't know who these guys are. I appreciate that Japan always like introduces the game devs and like actually lets the game devs talk about the game. Uh, on like most Western studios, but I don't know who the Japanese developers are. And you can enjoy the tense battle in the dark fantasy version of the later Han Dynasty, where demons play the three kingdoms. And you will see the warriors from three kingdoms. Okay, we are going to see the warriors from three kingdoms. All right, let's get to the gameplay. Thank you. Very nice graphics, right? We try to show the nice landscape of China. All right, let's actually see combat speed. Let's play this in real time. Is it like Dark Souls combat, or is it like more like? Bet up like free form. So this is regular speed. It actually does look like combat's a bit more like free flow. Yellow turban. Oh, but it, it's yeah, it's the Dark Souls for sure. Cause like you gotta stop to like drink the healing potion stuff. Okay, this is just a Dark Souls game. Fans are already familiar with three kings. Okay, and you put your flag there for the bonfire thing. Meet their expectations. I want to also ask you about the yes. I mean, I'm, people have been eating up these Dark Souls games, but I wonder when the bottom's gonna fall out on them. They use different weapons in martial arts. Depends how they fight against you. Where, like, you, every game is kind of like this now. And so, the, and you can... Make I think this is one of the biggest gaming trends that I've just, like, not even... Many weapons. Like, yes. really paid any attention to. In, China, there are some weapons unique to this era, or we have some traditional weapons. Like, I've played two games that are in this format, and I didn't player. bother beating either of them. You can think about your own strategy. So, like, this, this, this style just did not hit for me. This is the flag for the army, and you can raise your level. 
and if you put the flag, that means you uh, control. I also think it's funny when people comment that I only play uh, like popular games and I only stream games for uh, views and like I'm a sellout and that kind of stuff. And then I like totally didn't stream Elden Ring, which was the biggest game of like the last two years. On top of the tiger, you see five. This shows. Or Zelda Breath of the Wild. Parameter for strength. But don't worry, I sell out. I only stream games for clout. I don't just stream games that I have fun with. Correct. The sword is burning. Yes, this is also one of the uh, technique. We have I just don't have the patience fire. for these types of games. Action is good for fire. Like the whole, like, okay, do a couple attacks, back off, wait yes. for this thing to attack. This is kind of a magic. Or tactics. And then, are you gonna stream Breath of the Wild actually? Uh, I don't know. Maybe closer to the sequel's release, I might stream Breath of the Wild like the uh, week before. So we kind of like for Soul Hackers 2, I did a couple streams of Soul Hackers 1 before the sequel came out. I might do that. The movement is quite quick compared to the previous enemy. Yes. Man, dude's just got a whole bunch sure of these flags. Quick. And if you defeat the enemy, you can get some equipment. And you saw, oh, by then you can get stronger. Can you explain this briefly? I never beat Soul Hackers 1. No, I didn't really like Soul Hackers 1. Uh, how you can get stronger. It was just like... And we, each one is... Unique. Persona Q again, it, like those one of those dungeon crawlers. You focus on the right top now, but uh, you didn't even like see characters or really interact with anybody. Just done, like or basic dungeon crawler. I was pretty not interested in that. Or you can focus on one area. Or if you want to enhance one strength, that's okay too. So I was too fun though. Enemies, yes. You can get values as experience. Other than it's horrible dungeon design. <laughs> Depends on the player's preference, you can allocate the points to the strength. If you, you, when you are defeated, you lose this experience value. Oh my god, wow, when you die, you lose all of the XP that you have on you? you what an original game. Whether you're going to go this seems like exactly like Dark Souls, except in a like, samurai setting, I guess. Is that a person? Is that a person? No. It's a man. Is it Choryo? Wow. Warrior. Yes. It, he is one of the warrior from the Yellow Tarban Rebellion. Oh, yeah, the Yero Taru Rebellion. I'm quite familiar you with it. it. And you lost HP? The, the green gauge is HP, and the gauge below that is for spirit. The gray is HP. So if an uh, enemy is stronger, you... Where is the gray? Spirit. I see a bunch of green. Am I colorblind? And if it, the gauge goes all the way, then you won't be able to do anything anymore. But then you can... Is this Sekiro dude? No. Collect. This is uh, Wulong Fallen Destiny. And when you use tactics... Uh, oh yeah, it's not even the first Dark Souls-like game to be in a, uh, like, ancient Japan setting. So what does this game offer? I forgot about Sekiro. And Noir. Noir? Nihar? Nio? Nio? N-I-O-H? The timing of deflect is quite sensitive. Yes, the move mental boss. You have to understand it. Neo, okay. Better. Sekiro was made by from soft. Oh, well, then there you go. So his play is quite smooth. But uh, if you're a beginner, it's difficult. But if you get used to playing with it. So when the deflect success succeeds and... 
I don't know. I'm watching this whole thing like meh, but this game probably does fucking numbers. Very nice actions. I'm surprised myself. I'm playing well today. The boss is different. But I could not be like less interested in this. So hey, I what's up, AJ? An avocado loco, by the way. What's up? How are you guys doing? You, you're getting defeated. As you speak to us. It's more interesting now. Oh, please defeat the defeat boss. Can you? I wonder if he was doing this live. That would actually be kind of interesting. The pressure. That was a nice move. Defeated. Defeated. The gut all over the place. That's cool. I maybe he was actually playing it. More time. Probably not. I wanted you to win. Most powerful in a three. I'm just showing you more bosses. I'm ready to move on to the next. Uh... And the life is less than half. There's a sale. What's on sale right now? You can get this game. And uh, based on your feedback. I thought there would be more to this. Okay. Uh, let's see what Sega had to show. These are short enough where I might actually have to watch what 505 games it did. Because, yeah, there is nothing that interesting. Jeez, did they start this 20 minutes early? Sega Game Information Broadcast Sega New. Good evening everyone, He's very excited. Your game show 2022, now you are watching Sega Adrast official How come the translators are always like so today, broadcast a show. Hey, not enthused? And today we have, yo everyone, I'm Honoka Nishimura. And we also have, I'm Dr. T from Sega, thanks for having me today. <laughs> I'm the doctor. Because, like, these people seem excited to be here. The translator does not. Just give the translator the script ahead of time so they can emote. And now we are doing this broadcast from TGS Special Studio, and we are very much looking forward to have the information. Okay, let's look at what we have today, Nishimura san. Let's play it at TGS. Every we booth at uh, the Tokyo Game Show is required to have a cute girl on the Sega booth. New, it can't just be all dudes. This is CGS version, so we are going to introduce Persona by Atras and also Sega Partner Makers Gaming as well. And we also have Sega Maku, which is Sega wants to play games in Makuhari. So on what? 8th of November, Sonic Frontiers will be launched globally, so we will do the actual play with the game producer, and we also have Like a Dragon Ishin, which will be launched in the, on the 14th of uh, September. We will also introduce it as well. And Yoshimura san, you are very cute today. You are like the, the Sonic today. Okay, let's move on to the first part. Let's play it at TGS number one. So at the first part, we are going to introduce Persona. So first of all, please uh, watch the video from Persona 5, The Loyal Remastered. Yeah, 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 yeah. Called that. First announcement of the thing would be the Persona trailer. Where it spoils all of the stuff of the game. <laughs> we also won't announce the release dates for 3 and 4. Okay, goodbye. 
They're really pushing but for so this. so cool. There's an Alphabet Royal Remasters. Okay, girl makes a difference, that's true. The overview. If there's an Alphabet Royal, the players are now on everything. in Tokyo during the day and during the night. They are the members of the Phantom Thieves of Herds and make a nefarious adults into converts. So this time, for the first time, you can play Persona 5 The, the chat is very hype about this, uh, and it about will be the uh, Persona 5 and now we are accepting pre-orders. And there so, are Persona 3 Portable, they're not wrong Persona to keep pumping this out. And remastered uh, will be launched as well, and please stay tuned. Okay, now it's available on various games. Dr. T, for those who have not uh, played uh, this game, uh, they also want to play this game as well. Yes, you can now uh, play this at the various uh, platforms, and you can play this game even when you're in, when you're uh, on the station, train as well. And uh, this time we have Persona Special Views at DGS. So let's look at what's there. So this time, this booth is very well made yes this is it is that is really cool Pilsuma. how big are those and uh, we have the protagonist from the past titles as well and uh, this is the the booth you must go and as um before we had only the, the limited numbers of protagonists however today at this time we have many and it, it will be open for Very public cool. uh, from tomorrow, so I recommend you to take a photo. And is there a limited? I'm having it outside your house for Halloween. Yes. That would be dope. I would absolutely buy those things. This is the 25th anniversary of Persona. So now we have uh, three bags um, commemorating uh, three uh, titles, and the please uh, check the detailed information. I always like these images website. of like the three games I together, like the red, yellow, and blue, I think looks really cool. Uh, also app, very exciting very that they cool. put FEMC on the uh, so I recommend you to get one as well. promotional so art for Persona 3 game. instead of just uh, Makoto. Sega wants to play games and Marco Hari, so uh, with this corner's name, is play games at She's um, very excited. Sega Maku. So on the, the only November, one with his <laughs> slight personality on this booth so far. Time, Sonic Frontier <laughs> is going to be launched, and we will give you the latest information. And then we have the producer of Sonic Frontier, Kawamura san The producer! <laughs> this is the guy who keeps fucking up Sonic games <laughs> year after year. Kawamura san yes, my name is Kawamura, the producer. Thank you for having the me. The Goomba guy won, yeah. I think everybody's surprised. I, I think. Usually, it should be bigger. I already have because Persona 5 queued up to install on my PC once it uh, releases. Kind of weird that it doesn't come out but until anyway, uh, this is what Kawamura san looks like October. today. October. So, uh, I was expecting a, a September new release. Mascot character Coco. It's an avatar for Kawamura producer uh, to be with today. Persona Samsung Bridge win. And, and it hasn't been ported as much Coco as GTA or uh, right? uh, Skyrim. Yes, it's not only Still got a bit mascot, to go. It's a very important clue for the scenario. So this is a highlight. And yeah, look at this small character. Oh, the Hololive girl has got a Sonic outfit? Uh, Alright, let me give you the overview of Sonic Hololive is so big. Dr. T. I don't understand so, how. Uh, in this game, I you play as Sonic with girl. hypersonic actions, race across massive islands freely, enjoy the boundless Modded new Persona 5 streams. Action adventure Are there a lot of mods on the? Oh boy, well, it's, it's not even out yet. I can't imagine there's that many mods for it. The an open zone. It's a next generation stage clearing game with a play. I was really hoping map. when Persona 4 got put on PC, a there would be bunch, like a bunch of fan campaigns. Game. Interesting. So it's a Sonic. Because the dungeons and everything are very simple Persona. in Persona 4. Exactly. Um, so I'm going to. Play you like I was expecting people to like use the textures and environments to just make like custom campaigns, and nobody fucking did that. There was not a single like fan made campaign in Persona 4. What you think would be like relatively easy because like the AI behaviors are already there. It's a turn based game. You can just make like simplified dungeons. Like I mean, Soul Hackers dungeons were just a bunch of straight lines.
I'm not gonna lie, every trailer of Sonic Frontier makes me want it less. I mean, I've never been a big, uh, like, Sonic guy. But these, like, empty environments and, like, weird jump thingies just don't do it for me. Super Saiyan Sonic. Oh, it comes out this year. No collector's edition. <laughs> what what is that expression on you? I played a game in the booth. It was so exciting. The sound was very thrilling. Oh my god, this translator? I think it's one key <laughs> Fucking take me out, dude. Of Sonic. And, and this, the, the, the music sound was, about was one very rock. thrilling. So, uh, there's a lot of information available today. For the first time, Sonic worked with... Uh, like, these are scripted shows. The people aren't on these very, stages aren't, like, winging it as they go. Like, they might say a couple Sonic. different things, Super but, like... Sonic. They're supposed to cover specific points when they're marketing and advertising the games on their thing. Like, look, they're looking at a script. About the new game. Just give the script to the translator. Well, I, I know a lot of people are familiar with Sonic, and in I don't get what's so difficult. Also enjoy an open world, and also the size of the boss. They are massive. Yes, that's one of the one of the key this time. So we're going to show you some Bruh. gameplay. Let me Actual fucking gameplay. host one of these panels. You're not even host. Video. Just be the behind-the-scenes guy giving you them, like, it's correct it's marketing decisions. So let's look at the actual gameplay. This is, uh... So did these, like, little stone version. figures replace, like, those, uh, uh sorry, little uh, blue guys that were in, um, it's Sonic before? I don't know enough about well. Sonic lore to remember their name. An open zone. Open world. Chocobos. And you see some strange stuff. Uh, there are some I don't know. puzzles you that you need to solve, and then you can unlock new routes and new maps, and Ciao, you can see yeah. where you are heading to. You can enhance. You can power up the Sonic. You can uh, get a lot of items to strengthen the character and. It's uh, super fast, and well, we don't see him running on the grass very often. Well, we see the enemies there, and we also this added a new okay. action because it's not a course. It looks so slow. Uh, there's a new action called. But I guess it's fine. A, a loop. A so you loop color a loop around a people loop, to do damage. Where you can run around and. So not this open zone. It's also a playable world map. You can enjoy. It just a lot looks of like I don't know. Stages. It looks like a Halo and Forge map where raining. someone just put random crap all over like it's the really Forge World thing from Halo where Reach. You can also enjoy the platform, the open world. Like the whole well, game just gives like tech demo vibes. Uh, of like, the they gave some developer like a map from Unreal Engine or whatever, and they no, were like, hey, uh, this make this playable. Huge, and so then they put like uh, walls yeah. over places and so some rails and then like some random enemy spawns, loop. and they were like, that's the game. To go around his left leg, and you see he lifted up the leg, and then you can I mean, Sonic attack. is such a dedicated fan base, then I'm sure this a, will sell well and be fine. But like, to me, this just looks like another in the so long line of like. You can mess Sonic 3D games. Something new by utilizing Are people super action. excited about this? It looks huge. You don't know how to uh, beat it, but you can start with lifting up its leg and attack it later. So this is the strategy that I'm showing you. And there are more that I want to show you. I haven't uh, beaten that enemy, but I need to move on because... So Wait, why did they choose not to beat the boss? Yes. Yeah, why would you and just choose not to back. beat the boss, though? This is Koko-chan. Did you see Koko-chan? 
the, the, the mascot. Cute. And hey, we think this boss fight is kind of repetitive, long, and uninteresting. Still cute. So we're going to leave it in the full the game for you to play. Anyway, you can see a lot of, uh, but for so promotional reasons, them. we're going to just be done them. with the boss fight. And now and we're going to stare at these NPCs for a bit. So you protect them. Because this is more interesting than continuing you, that you boss fight where you the, do the same thing three times to defeat to it. The, uh, chief of the village or something so that you can get become more powerful. And uh, this is, uh, you see a strange chair here, a mysterious chair. This is the portal where you can go to the cyberspace. Shadow space. Colossus this is with the, the Sonic mod, yeah. To go to the cyberspace. So you got a... But that's what's concerning to me, is like they showed the boss fight the, and then the they didn't enemy. even finish you the boss fight. To open because the portal. it's not compelling or entertaining enough to like, hold, like keep you watching. They're like, okay, cyber, so people are probably going to stop I, watching I the boss fight now. I can imagine cyber from... The, the scenery that I saw before. So when you get into the cyberspace, you can get to the ancient archive. Not helping the impression the way, of this game by game having loading, like just being a very empty world by putting actions. like an empty so white space. So now we're in the cyberspace. In the well. well, I guess that was the loading screen. Maybe that's fine. So this is made by ancient people's technologies. It, it's, it's an archive of memories worldwide. That looks fantastic. And so See, this, this is cool. Is why don't why haven't they been memories. showing more of this instead of the like crappy blank green plant. area? It's a stage grassy that area. We had things before and you can climb up the stage. Look like this, this area looks alive and like there's stuff and going on. I think this will remind you some nostalgic memories for our friends. So these are the conventional Who stages that we had before. Who runs that where you the can uh, the Sega Sonic. like marketing and, and promotional thing? The, Fucking the get me on this team, different. dude! I could make people excited this for this enjoyable. game. We would barely show the green grass area. It would be Look this. this gorgeous play. Oh uh, yeah, it's within a minute, and you also get the scores. And on the left hand side, there are four missions. Which, I mean, granted, still isn't that much that if, interesting. In order to clear the cyberspace, you need to. Still, it'd be better the than the Green missions. Valley. So it's a, a, a quite difficult. When, w w what's in for you if you uh, clear the stage? Yeah, so like this, you can practice actions while waiting for a loading. The guys it's playing are just fun. bad. Well, and they did almost fall off the stage, so he lost a lot of momentum there. You can also there. go to the the space to practice, and so now we are getting out of the cyberspace, and because we cleared the mission, so I got uh, emerald keys with the key with a certain number of this key. Then you can unlock an emerald stuff. So you know <laughs> emerald that it, stuff. The Sonic Thank you. Sonic uses emerald to become supersonic. So you collect those emeralds in order to transform. Can I continue? Can we still continue? You see the red color of light. That there, there's a chaos. Uh, chaos Is this bot selling there, anyone on the Sonic game? Where you can unlock his power. It's really massive, but because he's so fast, you can get there in a minute. The world doesn't even seem that big, and Sonic doesn't it's seem to be moving fast. that fast. It seems like normal, like open world game. You're riding on a horse speed. I used the emerald key to get one ca chaos uh, emerald. So the first objective is to collect. Also, the I, chaos I know I'm just ripping emerald. on this game, but like well, getting the emerald seems super anticlimactic as well. Your friends. And while on you do way, an you obstacle course and you get one of the most powerful items in the game. And it's just in another location from where you did the obstacle Thank you course. For the gameplay. Yeah, I, we saw many pieces of the world of Sonic. What do you think? Well, 
I, I'm not very good at playing games, so I clean this game. So I, I didn't, I couldn't do the side loop thing, but now I saw it. Um, and the cyberspace was quite impressive. Um, thank you. It looks very fun. And there is the other information from Dr. T. Yes, so some announcement from my side from tomorrow's. Um, TGS a bunch of people in the uh, chat for this are saying it, it doesn't look that interesting. Uh, the so Sega, uh, the I feel like that's not a good vibe. At the Sega Atlas booth. That's their new game, and people in this chat are still more excited about Persona 5 being re released. And you can get this than their new Sonic game. Total bag and also a sticker. Yeah, that's the one thing this is <laughs> this conference has got going for it so far, gamer. Bro, you can get and stickers. Already for people who have already make the made the reservation for the game, you please show us the receipt or the the reservation uh, completion page at eShop. Then we will give you this red blue uh, the Red Bull Sonic Frontier limited box. It's just a box for the game. Like that's not a figure for the and, the game. Uh, the special uh, novelty it's, is also very gorgeous. Um, we have it for people who make reservations. So one is this adventurer treasure box. You have a, a set of uh, treasures in it, and this is the limited edition for the package. This is a box, which is a and then the a, book, the, the a guidebook. Content um, you get is not even exclusive magazine, DLC content. It's just random in-game items. Jalan. So Jalan and uh, uh, Famitsu uh, special this edition. Book, this guidebook. So it's a guidebook for the Starfall Island, which is in the game. And you see the, the cover page it was carefully selected by the editorial department of Jalan, and you can also see a lot of beautiful uh, the special scenery edition for this game in is the Japan game. only, not so in the U.S. So you can enjoy the characters, Why? Uh, it's, it's character information, and the sceneries about uh, the this comes with, an art book. with this book. So yeah, that was um, the information. Z -Z 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 Z Z Z Z the end of the first part of the show, I want to get some comment from Kawamula-san. Thank you very much for watching our program. Please enjoy TGS. That's not it, is and it? So please try out Sonic Okay, Frontier. no, there's still a bunch of stuff. And please stay tuned for more information of Sonic Frontier. Thank you very much. Thank you for your comment. Thank you for saying that Coco is cute. Again, thank you very much, Kawamula-san. Please look okay. forward to Great. the uh, okay. launch of Sun Frontier. Let's move on to the next section. Let's play this at TGS number two. So, Onopi and Dr. D, the floor is yours. Please watch this video. Why did I forget Sega was making the uh, Hogwarts game? RPG set in the Wizarding World in the 19th century. I really thought this was made by somebody else. The subscriber of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardy, you will experience the unknown history. You will manipulate ancient magic, and you will take on a journey to unleash. They have nothing to do with it. Through your journey, Do they not? you will face the enemies and you will unleash your magical powers. You will encounter new friends. Yeah, okay, wait. Uh, I'm not insane. Interesting features. Then uh, you will uh, beat an uh, evil mind. Sega is not making this game. Okay. Dance, Hogwarts Legacy. Actually, I thought I was it losing was, my fucking uh, mind. The buzz on Twitter, and uh, it's such a Harry Potter world, and uh, it's a very interesting collaboration. Vibe, God, I can't wait to play as Joker in the Hogwarts Legacy game. On February 10th next year. Next, Gotham Knights. Okay, Sega's definitely and not making open Gotham Knights. World action RPG set in Gotham City after Batman's death. The players uh, will be. The fellow DC superheroes of Batman, a Batgirl, Nightwing, Redwood, Robin, then you will be a new guardian of Gotham City. Pre order now to get cool Robin motorcycles. The players uh, will uh, search for the truth of Gotham City and uh, you will fight against notorious villains 
to be Dark Knight. I kind of want to get this game though. The visuals are wonderful, with you. and you can see. I think see playing as a bunch of like Batman side world. characters is interesting. And some uh, characters are uh, flying in the sky. Uh, that visual was very beautiful as well. It will be launched October twenty first. This guy here, Hour of Darkness, it was sold um, 5 million globally, and it's a simulation RPG. There are massive simulation RPG? So they got max, and also there's item Tensei, which is a transmigration of items. And the world view is set in Hinomoto Makaigun, which is the Japanese magical world. Then there will be a stray samurai code. Fuji and also the, the Hinomoto nerd girl, the Piriwika, and they will try to uh, get the Japanese magical word Hinomoto Makaigun back. Is this like an anime? Game. What is this? So now this is a game I would believe Sega is making, Samurai, but I don't uh, recognize what the um, fuck this is. Be the enemies. It's a very the Japanese. <laughs> it does look very uh, Japanese. That is uh, uh, very word. true. And, uh, they say right as like the penguins start the fist Japanese fighting. Magical word, and it will be launched on January twenty six. Gold Simulator three. So this time is coming again, and uh, this time it's a local online multiplayer game. You definitely can play not making Gold Simulator three. People. So that you can uh, play uh, together with your friends and that you can compete against in mini games. In this game, you make distractions, you make chaos, That's the, and that just you can Gaia run franchise? the world freely. What is that? So how to play this game is 100% uh, depends on you. So what we provide you is the dreaming light of gold. This is a very interesting and like famous uh, game, and uh, it's surprising that you now we are having Gold Simulator 3. And uh, we can say lots of things about each single situation in this game. It will be launched November 17th. It Takes Two has been out for a while. I guess this is probably them porting it to Japan, right? With multiple elements, now this platform adventure game is available on Nintendo Switch. It Takes Two, so you can It's a TRPG? Oh, tactical? Like Fire Emblem? Journey ever in your life. You can play it with your friends. It's such a crazy gameplay and you have to overcome multiple things. And it's a very heartwarming story as well. Actually, I have played this game. Uh, of course, it's not a Switch game, but I have played a PC version of this game. <gasps> She's a PC gamer, boys! So it was about how to make up the couple Absolute who were about to get divorced. And this game uh, is a basically about that. So it's a co-op game, and they, it will be launched... Um, November 5th for download version and the package version will be launched on December 8th. Me. Thank you very much. We have uh, various kinds of games and uh, please uh, stay tuned until the launch of the games. Let's move on to the final part of the show. The final and part of the show. No. You've shown so much exciting stuff. We're going to introduce you the the new. A bunch of people in the uh, the chat now for the Sega stream are also now mentioning uh, that they should let the translator go to sleep because she wants to go to bed. Representative of the studio and the producer. Hey, it's the Like a Dragon guy. As our guest, who's gonna try and get us to call his games Like a Dragon now Yokoyama instead of saying Yakuza? The studio of. Uh, it is a very funny dream. So today we're going to uh, highlight Like a Dragon Edition. It was launched two days ago. Really cool of them to advertise games they have really nothing to do with. Awesome. I have a feeling it was. And I got a lot of uh, a paid news. deal, not a charity I, I thing. I think it, it, it's one of the most popular ones in the history. Nintendo beat the TGS hype. I think they did, honestly. I liked the direct, other than the farming simulators. I thought the other stuff that they showed was cool. I mean, I'm biased, I guess, because I like Fire Emblem. So, all right. We're going to I can't wait to play as Toothpaste John. 
give you the information about like a dragon issue. Uh, let us play the latest video for you. Sony one, because like a dragon, yeah, but it's not exclusive to PlayStation, so not really a big win. Actually, I don't know. It might not be on the Switch. Like but still, it's going to be on Xbox and PC, though, so... Has been I think this is just more of what was shown at the summit the already, wasn't it? The highest quality. It became more powerful and more gorgeous. At the end of Shogunate, this is a passionate story of the guys at the end of Shogunate era. I'm probably not getting this one. I'll get Like a Dragon 2 or Like a Dragon 8. Like, I don't know what they're calling it. But I probably won't get this. The battles will be more It's on the older engine and, and exciting it won't have an English dev. Use the four battle styles to beat the strong enemies and figure out the best play style for you and also gather ingredients and materials to strengthen your weapons and make also the, the side characters I like from yourself. Yakuza 7 or like and a dragon whatever they're calling the it characters are going to be benched series. in this game well join as regimental soldiers and each character has strong warrior skills you can use those skills in your advantage I'm trying to think of what game I wanted from the like skills the Sony conference other than God of War enemies. that will actually be exclusive there are to the PlayStation. Also sub stories where you have very interesting characters. But like there were several games in the Nintendo Direct that I'm going to buy for the Switch. There are also a lot of play spots. You can do karaoke. You can sing new songs. Also some old Japanese sounds that are popular. You can enjoy the unique entertainment that belongs that to the end it was of Edo period. Enjoy the entertainment. Straight from, uh, These fuck, what was that one? The top entertainment of the end of Shogunate. Game called. It had a Kickstarter like to release the third one where nothing happened. Oh, the name is like on the tip of my tongue. Shenmue. Yeah, chicken racing straight from Shenmue. So we saw the video. Oh no, Biri, what do you think? You can also fight the bears. Yes, actually, they can be your friends too. They can help you fight as well. And in the previous game, I played the previous Ishing that wasn't uh, Kiwami. And there was a Koro Hyokudan, uh, a soccer player. That is that character also in this version? Yes. Yes. What? Um, I have so many questions about the new game, but let me pick up the highlights. So, about the graphics, it has been evolved. The evolution of graphics is so beautiful. Kind of weird that they're not showing like side by side shots. In this Game, like for a remake, game, like you think you would want to show uh, like how far it's come, uh, right? Unreal uh, engine. If you're remaking and the game, we we have a house engine called Dragon Engine, and two days ago we announced at the same time the seven and eight of uh, Yakuza. Actually, they they use they still use the Dragon Engine, uh, especially for the night uh, district. It, th those engine is specialized for the night scenes uh, with neons, but in Ishin, it's more. Uh, it has a more a uh, daytime scenes like the the Kyoto, um, a district the, uh, in the end of Edo period. And Unreal Engine is better for this type of scene for brighter scenes. So we use Unreal Engine to create the world of the end of Edo period, uh, Kyoto. Okay. 
Also, I'm willing to bet the original game was probably on the Unreal Engine convincing. too, so it's easier uh, to so make it in use Unreal. a specific type of engine with a good reason. Can I move on to the next feature? So, in this version of game, we have all the popular characters. I'll probably just go to Unreal because like Unreal Dragon, Engine Five just came out. Uh, it was launched nine years ago. Uh, it was eight years ago. Nine years ago, we made this game. And from number one to number five titles, all the characters from those five titles, including Sakamoto, uh, Ryoma, and uh, Hijikata, they all joined the new game. And this is for the fans of uh, yeah, the Yakuza series. We want to make the game really fun. So after the launch of this like, game is for fans of the Yakuza series. <laughs> and seven, seven? Breaking news: Yakuza sequel game. We, we have is for like three, uh, Yakuza uh, fans. New series, uh, three titles. Thank you. We, we, this year is 2022. So in 2020. I wonder if you search like a dragon. Only the yeah. So if you search in the Xbox app. If you search like a dragon, only Yakuza like a dragon shows up. But if you search Yakuza, all the Yakuza games show up. This version. And the third feature is the exciting and the deep battle system. So you know battle dungeon where you can cultivate your own weapons. You can find materials for making weapons. Oh my god. And you have so this is a dope new feature that, that they added to the Xbox app, by the way, you is they uh, you have a partnership of skills, how long to be. Uh, it will be not easier for you to win the game, and it, it was only available in Battle Dungeon. And when we were developing the game, we thought that we want to enable using the skills, using those skills in the main story. That's why Do they have more we stuff made to show? this change. So in the Edo Castle, you can also use those skills. You can also use the skills in the battles in, like in the town, people talk about in the city, and in the. Ed if I am TBH with you. So now we are reaching the end of the show, and we have some. Because we well yes mostly it's because yesterday we watched the RGG summit already so I already heard everything they had to say. So for that game, which is now available on PS Store and Nintendo eShop. There's a Hasune Miku game. So I don't recognize most of these. I feel like so Judgment, uh, the Yakuza, Sonic Origins, Virtua Fighter, okay, that educational game. Tetris, that um, Fist of the North Star exercise game, Yakuza. This must be a rhythm game. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Bayonetta Vanquish. I don't know why these two games are always partnered together. You can <laughs> get uh, some of the game at for Special Flies until September 28th, and the more than 55 titles are available. Game, th so these not being on Game Pass is kind of lame. Now Judge Eyes are available on Steam. So it's um real legal suspense story, and you can enjoy multiple gameplays, and it's very well received by uh, gamers. Among us. So no matter how many times he is devastated, he rises up again and again, and uh, he uh, searches uh, for truth. So it's Yagami Takayuki, played by Kimura Takuya. And for characters surrounding Yagami, we have wonderful actors to make the story deeper. So now um, Takuya Kimura is uh, collaborating nice. with Yuga Gotoku Studio, so please enjoy this legal suspense action. Next, online LPG PSO2 New Genesis which is called NGS, there's going to be a big update in December, and we just have the media a preview. And uh, today, uh, we uh, will uh, play that video for you. Please watch the video. Oh, what? I feel like games just can't be exciting if, like, the good thing that they decide to show about the game is, like, look at our character running in an empty field. Uh oh. Like. What?
So, like, what do you do in this game? I can't read what that says. It's Fantasy Star Online. Okay. So that was the latest video. Dr. What, G, how did you find it? What, 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 what was that? Probably it was a surprise for you that you were able to uh, watch uh, this uh, video. And uh, actually it's just a part of the video. And uh, you will get more detailed the running information simulator. Okay. at um, NGS Live casting. What was that? From I think that's it. September oh no, there's more trailers and stuff. Okay. There will be official information I won't tap out just yet. NGS we'll see if there's anything else cool. You will watch the longer version of the video and also you will get more information about October updates. For more information about the Man, this is a big... I'm glad we already made the decision that I wasn't going to... Uh, website uh, stream day three and four because if this is all they got for day two like there can be nothing left for day three and four like day three and four must have just like absolutely nothing to show is this a re-zero rhythm game Amelia looks cute What is this? Hey, Kukichi. Why isn't this game in the West? Japan makes so many, like, idle mobile games. I didn't realize that. People are super into these. Because the Konami booth had a bunch of these, too. I had to stop watching ReZero because it, uh, not because the show was bad, but it made me feel so sad. <laughs> Why do they all look like VTubers? I think because it's, it's a idol game that's like, also Gasha? I don't know. Emilio's cute. You know Danganronpa? I do know Danganronpa very well. I've streamed every single, uh... Danganronpa game on my channel. You can watch my playthroughs of Danganronpa 1, 2, 3, and Ultra Despair Girls on this channel. I even did a stream of the uh, Danganronpa Decadence Beach mini game or whatever you want to call it. I've done it all on this channel. Find them on my playlist tab. Because I'm an gotcha, organized YouTuber. Uh, also available as well, and you can also download... So wait, what is that game exactly? All they did was show, like, an idle photo shoot of the main girls from that from game. PM, they didn't even show... On Subaru. Net immersion MJ channel, there will be second Yoshimoto comedian That's just one of the MJ million idol mobile games that are all the same. Yeah, they didn't even... <laughs> the main character, <laughs> Subaru, wasn't even shown. They're like, yeah, we know you're here for the fucking waifus. Here's Amelia looking cute. And, and the twins. The of, uh, and I don't remember that girl's again. name. The blonde. And also, for commentator, we are going to have Matsushima, Momo, and Masumoto Yoshihiro. But, here you go. So, Nishimura-san, how did you find TGS? So, I visited... First Rose person that knows Danganronpa that streams so it, your boy. Right here, hang on, wait. Learn Subaru Nishi isn't very well liked, but he's the main character! So, I hope uh, lots of people uh, will be there able to go. visit us. Uh, Playlists. All, look same, at all the uh, fucking games I played. You got, uh, you got Danganronpa V3, you got Danganronpa Ultra Despair, you got Danganronpa 2, uh, Danganronpa 1. Now, all of these playlists on my playlist tab on my channel. Check that shit out. So I hope you to enjoy it. You were very good today. He's After also a male, and that's rare in gacha games. To, uh, practice, uh, Can't put a guy in a trailer about a game, <laughs> you know, like that. I suppose. On yes, I, I roll for male characters in Genshin Impact. I exist. I rolled for several male characters. Who is that? Uh, from 9 PM, uh, Another idol character. I rolled for Zhongli, Venti, Zhao, Ayato, Ayaka is the girl. 
Thank Ayato. you very much for staying with us at the end of the show. Please enjoy I think that's it. PTS. Actually, for male characters, I rolled for. Okay. Yeah, day two was definitely a miss in comparison to day one from the Tokyo Game Show. Um, the Konami booth was pretty fucking lame. Just showed like a Yu-Gi-Oh game. It showed a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh games that were already out, and then like a trailer for Cross Duel, which isn't out yet. And I actually don't think Cross Duel is even going to release on PC, is it? No. So, don't care. Have you watched the Danganronpa anime? I have, yeah. Both the end of Hope's Peak and the actual anime, but it was just, like, the games put into an anime. So I've watched all of that. I was big at Danganronpa for a while. You should watch my Danganronpa streams and... Share them with your friends. But, yeah, the, the Koei Tecmo... I, now, to be fair, I didn't think anything cool was going to be on the Koei Tecmo stream, because I'm not, like, very into their games. But, man, the two games they showed were boring. They didn't even show uh, Fatal Frame, which would have been the cool game to show. Um, the Sega stream was pretty lame. Because they didn't show any new Yakuza stuff. They showed it all in their own conference. Sonic Frontiers looks pretty weak. Um, yeah, I, I'm i not watching day three of the Tokyo Game Show. Uh, day one was pretty cool. Day two, really weak. I can't imagine there's anything left to show for day three and four. Um, but, I mean, it's been fun. I like reacting to these game things. And there's really not much left to react to so what was the other thing 505 games showcase 2022 i don't think i'm gonna watch i don't recognize any of these games this is the other thing that happened today but i'm gonna be honest i don't think there's anything here that i want to watch Miasma Chronicles, Serial Cleaners, Gunfire Reborn, Nivalis Stray Blade, Yuden Chronicles. Do you have the Danganronpa books? Uh, you got me there. I don't have the Danganronpa books. Five oh five makes control. Ugh. I actually didn't like control. If you want to talk about games that I thought were quite overrated, I think control is quite overrated. I don't know why this game keeps getting ported to shit. Ghost Runner looked fun. Do I know of the Dangan Rumpa books? I do not. I also didn't like Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Man, I just don't like this developer, do I? Because I really like Metroid games, and I was playing Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, and I got really bored of it. I did like one stream of it for an hour. Miasma Chronicles just looks like a, a sequel to Control. Oh shit though, 90% off. Hey world. We've pretty much watched everything already. I hope you enjoyed with me and let's get started. Now let me introduce today's lineup. In the first half of the program we will provide the latest information of 505 games. Uh, anything. The latest tactical adventure from the developer of Mutant Year Zero Serial Cleanos, a self action game about the release in Bonfire Reborn, a rogue like this SPS open soul, Nivalis, a unique kind of life simulation in a cyberpunk control polish, action RPG title Stray Blade, and GT Racing Sim, a pixel course of Confetti Sony, update information for the console version, and we will be bringing you information on new titles from 505 Games and Indie Label, as well as the latest titles, so be sure to stick around for that. 
In the latter half of the program, you will discuss the highly anticipated RPG AU Dean Chronicles Hunter Shiro, which is currently scheduled for release in 2023 from Rabbit and Deer Studios. For development of this is underway. Yoshitaka Murayama, Jiko Kawano, Junichi Murakami, and Osamu Komusa will be giving you special talks available only on the Tokyo Game Show, all updating us on what's happening, so please be sure to watch through to the end. Before we move on to our first segment, I would like to present the message from the Other games, yeah, are like. Five Gold 5 games will be expected at CES 2022. On top of that, in late June 2022, Five Gold 5 games will not be expected. On sale, but I don't want any of these games. Oh, I used to be hella addicted to Gems of War, though. Oh my god, I played that so much. This is Five Gold 5 games exclusive ownership of the entire Oh no. Here's a brief description of the newest addition to the group. Please leave Gold. Please continue watching the video below for comments. Ghost Runner being on sale? I don't know if I would be interested in that. It looks cool, aesthetically, though. Five Gold 5 games, along with my brother, Sam. First, I would like to send congratulations to all Japanese game fans, media, publisher, and creator of the successful return of TGS 2022. Oh, do they make Payday as well? They, I guess they really have a diverse portfolio of games, though. That's kind of crazy. Enjoy exciting content for our upcoming games. I believe. But yeah, I thought Control is overrated. Payday was fun. Japan is a key market for Five Five Games, and our group is since the early days. It would be important for Hook, the new indie game publishing label that we recently presented. Thank you for watching our TGS program today. I hope you will enjoy it. Have a great Tokyo Game Show. Arigato, gozaimasu. Marvel Puzzle Quest. I also used to be super addicted to this game. I There was a period of my life where I was super into these puzzle match games. Gems of War and Puzzle Quest. God, I, play, I played them so much. Because they, that was pretty much all you could get for mobile games back then, and in the years these games were coming out and were popular, um, I played this game so much, holy shit. Um, God, it's nostalgic. In like 2017, it was because I just graduated college, and I was so fucking broke, I couldn't really buy games. So I was just playing Marvel Puzzle Quest <laughs> so I could play games. It's actually super fun. It's just a regular match game with like Marvel characters, and uh, they've got like cool abilities or whatever that like you can play against other people online god i played it so many hours of that game i eventually had to like force myself to uninstall it because even after i'd gotten my like post-college job and i started to get enough money to play like real games again i was still like just playing fucking puzzle quest all right this is let's hang on let's watch this at normal speed what is the serial cleaners it's been 10 years since I got back to working with corpses. Hey, you! Oh, so in this game, you play as the guy that goes to clean up the mess of the Hotline Miami player who just played the game shortly before you did. Howdy, partner! Seems like I got something in my eye. Brooklyn Bridge! Now! Is this game just edgy for the sake of being edgy? Is it one of those games? Oh my god, you're chainsawing abilities. Yeah, I will not be getting this. Absolutely copyright music. Gaming pool. I've heard this gunfire game is fun, but it's one of those games that reminds me too much of that uh, failed game that came out at the same time Overwatch did. You guys remember Battleborn? It looks like the furry version of that game. I don't know if anyone remembers Battleborn, but it was from the makers of Gearbox, the guys who made Borderlands, and it was like this 
class shooter PVE game that came out the same week as Overwatch did because they were fucking morons. They're like, our game is better than Overwatch. Bruh. When there was like nobody in the world not playing Overwatch. When that game came out and was like just doing fucking gangbusters. I wonder if Battle Wars even still like available, or did they just like gotten rid of it? Now let me show you in um, the two films you have just seen. The first one is Julio Clean. Yeah, it's just unlisted now, huh? The launch trailer was exclusively debuted just now. The game will be available on PS4, PS5. I like this character's design because she's cute. One. That's really all I got for it. Gearbox Battleborn. We will be tuned for PS4, PS5 in Japan and Nintendo Switch globally released information. The title will also be available on the Korean PC gaming platform Stove. You'll definitely want to add these to your wishlist just now. Next, we have Gunfire Reborn. The game will be available for Xbox Series X, Xbox One. Oh, you can still buy it, Battleborn, on their website. That's worth looking forward to. Oh, wait, no, you can't, actually. They say Chen and Max, I'll introduce three game titles. Play prepare videos for each of these titles for you. Let's watch them back to back. Here they are. Yeah, no, I got removed from stores in 2020. Farming Simulator! And simulation racing games. I can't believe there's so many of these. Like, it feels like there's two big uh, racing games. And, uh, like, Forza and Gran Turismo or whatever, and then, like, the rest are just kind of like, eh. We're currently available in early access on Steam, polishing those final touches until March 7th, 2023, where we'll be releasing version 1.0 on both PC and console. But before then, let's introduce you to a brand new character that you can play right now, Saber. Wow. Saber, she is a strong Amazonian woman wielding a very sharp blade. Watch out for her powerful slashes. As well as her her slashes don't look very powerful. Her gameplay looks very slow and clunky. Rogue Spirit is available in early access. And she's not even on the cover. Okay, well. Let me slow it down for a little bit. That's an adventure action RPG that takes players on an adventure in beautiful world of wonder and fantastic creatures. The official Steam release version came out on September 6th. Farming simulators. People must really like them. Version 1.8 update is set for online distribution on September 29th. The PlayStation 5 version will be distributed only by the Japanese domestic publisher OEP Amnesio. Next up is Rogue Spirit. This one is currently available through early access. The official launch of PC, PS5, and Xbox Series XS versions are scheduled. That game looks like not good. I'm not going to early access preview that game. Next, we're going to introduce the titles to be released by Cook, a new game for Guys, I get my new iPhone tomorrow. I'm very excited. Let's look at the video. So where did this boom of farming simulators come from? Stardew Valley, like, blew up three or four years ago. So my theory is when Stardew Valley blew up, like, three to four years ago, um game developers and indie devs started making farming simulators like stardew valley but then covid uh happened and like they all got delayed and this is where they're at now like they're just coming out now because people invested all this time and money into making them so they got to release them and this is just what you get because they were all probably delayed around the same time and then like all took the same amount of production pause like, this is probably why they're all just coming out now.
This looks cool. I don't know why they showed that one underwater game for like two seconds. That also looks cool, but I really can't we'll tell what that is. Oh, that was the same thing. This game goes on sale, available for PS4, Xbox One, Steam, and GOP uh, in sure. all of 2022. Next up, um, is it on Xbox Game, game Pass? PS5 nope. and Xbox Series XS and What is this called? Unholy? Also not available for pre-order on Xbox. Xbox. Finally, I have four more titles to present. We uh, prepare videos for each of these titles to you. Let's watch them. I don't feel like making dinner tonight. What should I order? Or I guess I could just eat spaghetti. That doesn't take long to make. Yogurt for dinner? This looks like a game made with those Hero Forge characters. It's like a free, like, modeling software. Chinese food? I could go for some Panda Express. Get some orange chicken from Panda Express. Maybe I do that. Chicken strips. I also could go for some Taco Bell, because I love me some nachos. So did anyone see that and was like, that was the game for me? Some people play these games, man. Oh. これは取り調べ室で大事な話がジン、パートカーと接触事故だなんて、バレたらどうする気だ。交通事故だが、叩けばホコリは出るだろう。Fake car accident. Anything good announced? No. Day two of uh, what's up, I'm saying, but day two has been a big fucking mess. You get the chicken and pancakes meal? Ooh, that does sound pretty good. Hi, I'm Marco, creative director here at Ironlands. We are an international indie studio working on Nivalis, the cyberpunk slice of life sim. But can you farm in it? The cyberpunk genre, we've always been in love with Blade Runner. I like that he has his suit on in the background instead of wearing it for his like professional video. We thought, what would it be like to manage such a restaurant? Why not just wear that? So you look good for your video that you're gonna show to thousands of people. Why did these companies decide to show things in September? Uh, cause it's a big reveal for like the holiday season. They want to get you hyped up for the games that you'll buy like for Christmas and stuff and Black Friday. So it's like the last big media push cause there's not really anything happening in September so they can show off all these games. But like in October it might get drowned out by all of like the Halloween stuff and November like families are getting together and stuff. So September is like a big advertising push for games that are going to come out in the holidays. Anything good? No. Day two has been a big miss. I just told him saying that too because he just asked if it's anything good to been announced. No. 
everything shown in day two has been a big on all the systems to simulate the inhabitants of Nivalis. We want I don't know, maybe some of you guys who have been here this stream, like gamer twelve hours they see, saw something you guys would like, but for me watch the scene. Uh, Make money trading and more. There's not a single game that we saw on day two that I'm gonna buy. And wish this Nivalis on Steam and the Epic Game Store. I didn't even show new Yakuza stuff. But I'm thinking about what to buy for dinner, so that's an interesting conversation. Uh, a gamer suggested Chinese food, but I was kind of thinking Taco Bell, but now I kind of want Chinese food. Our fate rests in this guy's glove. Elvis. Barely survived that one. A mechanic with big dreams of becoming a hero. This looks like a spiritual successor to Control. Which was not a fun game. I did not like Games. it. God damn, I'm good. A kind of big brother to Elvis. And a badass robot that loves to make things go boom. Oh, it's a... Uh, tactical RPG. Oh my god, it's Siri from The Witcher. She dimension hop into this game. Oh, never mind. Walt Disney. Oh, as long as we can stand each other, this ragtag group can beat the miasma and save America. Fuck yeah, save America. Now we will give you some more information on the four titles we've just seen. Let's start with the action RPG. Title The Stray uh, Blade, made available to PS5, Xbox Series, XS, and Epic Game Store in 2023. Be sure to put them on your wish list. Next, Unheard. The game, which is already available on Steam and has been highly acclaimed by users, will finally be released in 2023 in the Japanese dub version from PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Next, we have Nivellus. It is scheduled for release on Steam and Epic Game Store. What is Unheard? Please add us to the wish list and check out all the updates. Finally, we have Final Fantasy Chronicles for PS5, Xbox Series, XS, and Nintendo Switch. It's available now for like five bucks. It's available on sale in 2023. Be sure and add it to your wish list and stay up to date on the list. You know what? I'll add this to my wish list because this seemed kind of like interesting for how cheap it is like this seems cool the acoustic detectives sure all of these Euden Chronicle games are on Game Pass but I don't really want them first of all like you can play them on Game Pass, but big meh from me. His name is Junko? Junko Enoshi. Next we have Osamu Komuta, director for AU Game Chronicles. He's very nervous. Hello, I'm the director Good of AU Game Chronicles. Welcome to the Bad Studios. Komura is my name. Komuta is my name. Thank you for having me today. So it's a pleasure to welcome all of you, and we will now present the latest news from the AU Game Chronicles series. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Hirayama-san, last year you brought news. Hey yo. Uh, so AU Game Chronicles, very uh, This is AU Game Chronicles, right? These protagonists are cute, I guess. Does she actually like mountain climb? This is the packaging version. This is going to be on sale. Uh, so AU Game Chronicles, writing the package is... Is going to be released on January 26th next year. A package illustration is a special edition newly drawn for this release. And what oh, was this a JRPG that was actually released on Xbox first? It's only just now coming out on PlayStation and Nintendo Switch? Or is this the sequel that's only coming out on the PlayStation and Switch and Xbox is going to get it last like fucking always? For those who purchased the package version, Miriam-san is holding the CD. And here, the CD holds a total of 20 traps used in the game for a total of about 45 minutes. Wow, trading cards. So the store information will be on the official AU Game Chronicle SNS and the official 505 Game Japan SNS accordingly, therefore please be sure to check them out. So, now that I've got these special items, I can't wait for the release of the package version. Pre-order sales will start at 7pm after this show. So, we hope you will get all these bonuses for yourselves, and you have another information. Oh yeah, this is a new game we that's not coming out on Xbox. The Jesus, their first games are on Game Pass and they're not even putting the new ones on Xbox. Oh my god, it's a pixel... Oh, never mind. They showed this at the fucking Ubisoft thing yesterday, or one of the conferences yesterday. We absolutely saw this already.
I forget which conference it was yesterday, but we totally saw this the other day. Does she mountain climb Genshin players? Hey, it's the guy from Trails of Cold Steel, Legend of Heroes. Oh, wait. Not a single one of these guys styled their hair before this uh, presentation. Maybe it's just the green screen making his hair look bad, but... So we had opportunity to see each other, and then we were talking about like that. Now it's time to dive deeper, so that we have to create something new. That was the first point. So Tavano Stern, how was it working with Mr. Yamamoto for the first time? So is the rabbit like a mascot from the game or something? Working in the past, but actually, it's like a company logo. Both our physical strengths should be climbing, however, yes, for more than 25 years. Yeah, so in the teaser, we saw some comments, and also uh, we are hearing the voices today. So today yeah, that's the dude from Trails of Cold Steel. Can't wait for this game. Can't tell if you're serious. Then this one. This is the Fuck, what's Fajibara this guy's name? This is Trails of Cold Steel. It's really weird how fast Google came up with that search. It's like they heard me talking about it. Uses. Yeah, tell me that's not Uses from Trails of Cold Steel. Then the second one. Kenji Atabane asking about the test. Let me read his message. I am Kenji Atabane asking about the test ring, and and they're happy to work with creators who have created my favorite game. And also, I'm feeling the pressure that playing for today. So I'm happy about pressure, but it's a great honor for me. The recording has been started, but now we are seeing top line of the hundred heroes, and I believe this will be the title that everyone really wanted to have. I will do my best, so please stay tuned. Then this is the third of them. All JRPG characters are the same character. I am Sunire Misaka, acting as Nerissa, and uh, it's a great honor for me to join this title because so many people are really wanting to have this. And Nerissa is a character of the Guardian. To the same anime archetype, yeah. And she's a reliable, and I'm very looking forward to casting her. And so please stay tuned. My other tab that I have open on the other screen, I forgot, was from our conversation from yesterday. Uh, <laughs> Dead, or, uh, Dead or Alive Extreme was still on the other tab. But for me, these are exactly the voice actors who should play for them. So when you see the actual recording, is that also what's up, Devin? Yes, and also Komisa Sun decided to cast him. So what's the precise factor? Ah uh, yes, there are so many characters, more than 100 characters out there, and uh, I have to have the image of each character voice. So we discuss about them and then team them into the actual voice actors. And as Jason mentioned, these three are exactly what we were expecting. So that's why we decided to have them in the game. So that's Gaius from Trails of Cold Steel. Yeah, but we didn't argue so much. So there are exactly in non-use looking issues. Yes. Okay, so. Not as now that one's a bit more of a stretch. And from here, I'd like to answer some of the questions we have received from YouTube on our official Twitter page. As many other questions as time allows. The first question, thank you for this fun project and please for the release. My question is, I would love to hear what was the most difficult part of this development and what you put the most effort into. And the worst part of this is that it's fast forwarded. And look forward to hearing from you. Would you rather listen to this at normal speed? Yes, what I want to detect is a fact of character. How are you compelled by this? So there are so many characters that for each character we want to add attractiveness or their performance. So I'll focus on that. So Murakami san, how about you? Yes, it's a bold Because man, let me tell you. I'm glad we did ended up not watching these like live live, because uh I don't know if I would have made it. I think I might have fallen asleep. And then you do it with the happier, right? Yes, someone can talk about you. Yes, mass is huge and curious is long. So what does it all is? At the beginning and at the end touch. Oh, you mean the worst part of this this is fast forwarded, like it's still so slow, even fast forwarded. Yes, there are so many characters here. So, yeah, you're noting. So, everyone. Yes, there are indeed so many characters. Each one of them as compelling as the last. Yes, there are too many characters that you choose. Damn it. I was trying to make a snore joke and I fucking choked. And also, so many items to be made. There are lots of factors there. And then they have to be combined into one game of Asian Chronicles. That's the most difficult part. And also, the most enjoyable part. And also, sometimes Mario Machan has. Do they expect this game to, like, do fucking numbers? Like, this is a. Large conference for this game. Yeah, that's just a little. 
Yes, but I do understand the uh, speed of volume of the factor in a game. Okay, next question. Hello, developers. I am the one of the participants in the crowdfunding, uh, crowdfunding campaign. I'm looking forward to the release of the game next year. My question is, I'm very curious about the length of the gameplay and the process system of this game. Come on, please. Uh, I cannot say the specific game time for this, but Skip. it's not one night or two night volume. So I believe this Skip. Is the oh my god, is it just the rest of the conference? Right. So if you want the corner transfer, you can, sorry, uh, the high level, uh, so I'm official Twitter account, so if you have not followed yet, please follow yes. Thank you very much for watching the show. Alright, was there anything else? Is it Sukoden? I don't think it was. I think it's, it's this game, right? Wait, what's it called? Uzuden? Yeah, it's not. It's different. It's not Sukoden. It's this game. Uden Chronicle RPG. Oh wow, is this actually a JRPG? That can't be right. It only takes 15 hours to beat this game? No JRPG can actually be less than 100 hours, right? That's crazy. Kangaroo. Yeah. Beautiful but boring. Boring. Standard JRPG with tons of boring fetching side quests. Maybe a hundred of them. Good thing they have so many fast travel checkpoints. Combat's clunky, not rewarding. It's a game. Really boring and easy. What were they thinking? This game seems to have so much potential. The fetch quests are the main factor to the game's demise. You'll be doing fetch quests that you normally complete for tutorials in other games. 15 hours in, I'm talking about the most trivial quests imaginable. Gorgeous, not my cup of tea. I like the combat system. The game's short where it doesn't get deep boring. The combat's simple. So it may get boring. So we hear you like fetch quests. Decent attempt on at a JRPG spin on a Metroidvania. Your typical Metroidvania movements, dash, double jump. It's impossible to die, but still has a charm. The biggest gripe with this game is the quests. There are 150 which require backtracking. I like fetch quests because they ain't dogs. It's appropriate for a $15 game. Exceptional. Blown away by the quality of this game. Mini Metroidvania styled gameplay. That actually kind of sounds interesting. I don't know. Fuck it. Uh... I probably won't play this on stream, but. It's a demo that sold as a whole game. Oh. It's only 15 bucks. Yeah, your boy's not paying 15 bucks for that. It's on Game Pass, baby. Okay, was there anything else from the Tokyo Game Show schedule? Was there any other shows to watch from this that we missed? So we watched 505, Koei Tecmo, Sega Atlas, Konami. Do God, do I watch the Square Enix thing? Uh, do I put myself through that, or do I just go eat dinner? How long? 
Gracias, Tess. Oh my god, it's the full hour. They don't do like the 20 minutes of preview stuff like all the other people did. Oh, never mind. No, they do. Star Ocean Program. I don't care. We're gonna just fast forward to the game trailers. I can't watch people talk about this stuff. Planet Preservation Pact. Friend of yours? Yeah, real good friend. She's from the Astoria, the one that destroyed my ship. Would you mind telling us whence you hail? I'm from another world, one that's far, far away in the sky, and I was forced to flee here. The Kingdom of Osiris and the Veal Empire are on the verge of war. I'm from war. Space I'm Final Fantasy. Your efforts on that front will be in vain. I am not one to slink away in fear while my allies are in peril. They command all manner of monstrous abominations. It is plain to see the Empire's armaments have undergone. Art style is kind of creepy. Yeah, it's kind of weird to me out a little bit. As long as the Empire wields their power, the kingdom is doomed. You tell me the feds are in cahoots with the Empire? We do this for the Pangalactic Federation, for universal... Like, they all look like... Every character in this cutscene looks like something made from, the, like, someone's create a character. You will give chase, even if you see of stars above? I will avenge you. Being free of gravity shackles ought to be fun. Why am I upside down? What is this? Every aspect of life here is like another world. No, no, another dimension. It is now impossible to discern friend from foe. I swear to you that all I speak here is absolutely true, including the fact that I came here to help. What is this bull? We have no sufficient proof that this ragtag band that follows What's this bullshit? Help? Spies. I have a proposal, though I'm sure you'll reject it. We should take our leave of Leticia and the others. <laughs> you think that thing's dead, don't you? I doubt you understand. This is clearly beyond your kin. Those were no human. The evolution of humanoid races, huh? Samurai. A monstrous invader that transforms people Hot girl. into something they are not. She looks like the most standard the character shown so far. From our perspective, that person would no longer be human. But the soul remains the same, dearest Leticia. I like his unicorn arm. I am sorry you must see your companion suffer so. What is wrong with you? That ass. Her highness, Letty, to death? Holy shit. Jade Kenny. She has that no right to be that kicked States. up in this game. What? As a result, our studies of symbometrics expanded greatly. History has proven that the law must be broken at times to move worlds forward. This heart is consumed with hatred and malice. Why do they arm themselves? Why do they fight? I ventured beyond the point of no return. Nothing more. Our aim is not to take life, but do not have That purple chick, uh, literally just looks like a creative character. What reason have I to escape? I am confirm in my resolve. Yep, you got that right. Stand against the menace to defy them. Oh, that thing is cool. It's your Federation tech that's about to kill this underdeveloped planet's king. This old misfortune now serves as savior, both to you and your kingdom. Come, rise from your despair. I swear on my life. It is over. The Empire is. This is merely the beginning. They have long since passed the point of reason. We are to right their misdeeds. We must fight. This is evolution, the greatest evolution in the cosmos. They dwell amongst the stars. Know that I wish for nothing more than peace and happiness for you all as well. Come. This looks like it would be fun if it was like a 30 hour game, but I couldn't take a hundred hours of that. Oh, there's not even an English translator for this conference. At least they're very passionate. They must know about the game or something. Okay, what's next? Next trailer. Oh my god, this is just more about that game. I think the space travel stuff is cool. 
ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
形状からして真相グングニルでしょうか。その身に刻め。Japan and not being stream friendly. Name a more iconic duo. This looks like one of those games that would have an absolutely indecipherable story. Like, I would play through the game and be like, what the fuck just happened? I already saw that. More Octopath Traveler 2 stuff. Product is going to blow your socks off. Power Glove Simulator. This here is my buddy Gary Cleansburg. Gary loves power washing. <laughs> sure do. <laughs> <laughs> but it ain't always what it's cracked up to be, is it, Jerry? Nope. Tangled hoses. <laughs> Electricity. <laughs> Mud. Dirty water. If only there was a way to find that sweet, clean satisfaction without all the hassle. Who needs all this hoopla? This is an interesting ad. When did this originally play? Power wash simulator. I didn't know this was by Square Enix. Very complications and get to the good part. Feeling clean without feeling exhausted. Wash a car, wash a house. Even visit far off destinations such as Muckingham and Watson. Cleaning's never been so fun. With Power Wash Simulator, you get the sweet <laughs> satisfaction of this is awesome. clean without the inconvenience of getting off your couch. It's a Power Wash miracle. Amen. <laughs> For all your dirtiest messes, only one cleaning simulator will do. That's true. <laughs> power Wash Simulator. See? Jerry's reached Power Wash Nirvana. And you That's too. truly how it feels to play this game, by the way. Power Wash Simulator. For more details, visit www.powerwashsimulator.com. That's powerwashsimulator.com. Available now. I still have it installed. Hey, where is it? Did it uninstall? Wait, what? Oh, there it is. Wait. Yeah. It's very high quality. Hey, it's more of that game we already saw. This is Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest The Adventure of Die. More like dead game. Is this just Final Fantasy VII but chibi? Because I remember these scenes from Final Fantasy VII Remake. I remember fighting this fuckface. I don't remember Hot Elf Lady. I also don't remember Tifa and Aerith having different outfits. Every time I remember my playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Remake, it's like a fucking fever dream.
But I still don't know what happened in that game. And I don't know what that is. And isn't there a sequel to the remake coming out? Is Final Fantasy Versus about to come out before Resident Evil Reverse? Oh my god. Weird, that's not how the game looked when I played it. Desire is the bringer of life, the gift of the goddess. You're a little more important than my sword, but just a little. A soldier trademark. Oh, you. <laughs> Color of the sky, right? But not scary at all. Good news, Song. Me and Cloud. It means Angeal has betrayed us as well. And Jill wouldn't betray us. Never! If people had wings, they'd be monsters. Wings? They don't symbolize monsters. Her head looked... Should her, her hair looked so much more red in the other okay. cutscene. In hindsight, perhaps. What the hell did you do, Aunt Jill? Well, look who's here. Hey, that I guy has Sephiroth's other wing. I may abandon Shinra. Angels dream of one thing. Please, tell me. To be human. Legend shall speak of sacrifice at world's end. That must be something to do with the plot of that game, why they all have separate wings or something. What we've done, that's set in stone. The past is forever. But the future, even if it has been written, can be changed. So focus on the future, not the past. He wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright. I kind of want to play through this game too, just so I can make as many people mad as I did in my original playthrough, because I was so bad. I saw you lying there. I figured it was too late. Wait. What are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? You were here with me. Five years ago. Where are you? What happened to you? I'm trying so hard to... So is this game gonna try to, like, blend I'm all sorry. of the timelines together? I feel like I failed you. Like the original game where Aerith dies, the remake where she doesn't, and this is like bringing everything together. Oh, next winner! That game's not even close to out. Wow, really? They announced that game like a while ago. It's still gonna take them like a couple years? Okay. Looks like there's just a bunch of talk show stuff from here on out. I guess they're showing more, uh... I don't understand this story. Like, this doesn't look like anything that would happen after what happened at the end of the first Final Fantasy remake game that I played. Wait a minute. No, this is the scene from Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh, 
然がない中で彼女花を売ってるの自然な花を見てもみてください生まれてもまだ、right? Are these guys just playing through the remake? Yeah, this is totally is just a scene from the remake that I already played through. Let's play! Okay, so they're just playing games that were shown, I guess. Alright, I'm probably gonna wrap up the stream for today. We had some fun, we reacted to stuff. Not really anything as cool as、um, from yesterday. So, this weekend I'll probably stream a game.、Um, I might do that Metal Hellsinger game that just came out. That seems kind of fun. Not too sure. But,、uh, yeah, I'm really hungry, so I'm going to go make myself some dinner. Or actually, probably just order something. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed at least my deadpan reactions to some of the boring stuff that was.、Uh, <laughs> Showed today because there、uh, wasn't that much to show today. But、uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for hanging out. That's really the only reason I do these is just to hang out and chat with people. I'm not like super interested in most of the games that are going to be showcased here, but you know. That's it. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.